Let's open our Bibles today in Second John. There's only one chapter in Second John, so we we'll start in verse nine. Whoever transgresses and does not abide in the doctrine of Christ does not have God. He who abides in the doctrine of Christ has both Father and Son. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this doctrine, do not receive him into your house, nor greet him. For he who greets him shares in his evil deeds. Having many things to write to you, I did not wish to do so with paper and ink, but I hope to come to you and speak face to face, that our joy may be full. Okay. What I want to talk about is the Seven Day Adventist Church. They claim to know Jesus, they claim to have his doctrine. They claim to be even the church. And if you're not part of the Seven Day Adventist Church, well, you're, uh, you're not saved. But let me say this, after a quick look at their teaching and what they believe, I don't believe they're saved. Now here are a couple of the balloons. I, I don't believe this is the doctrine of Jesus. But here are a couple of their balloons. They teach that only Sabbath keepers will be saved. If you don't keep the Sabbath, you won't be saved. And saved from what? I don't know because they don't believe in eternal hellfire and torment. Because they believe in annihilation, which is not in the scriptures either. Jesus never taught annihilation. Revelation 14, 9 to 13 shows you very clearly Jesus taught eternal torment and destruction, uh, an eternal living hell. They say that Ellen G. White, who was the Seventh-day Adventist prophetess, supposedly, they say that her writings are equal to the Bible. How can they be? when it's been proven time and time again that E.G. White, Ellen G. White, was a plagiarist. And the writings she brought forth, she also said that they came from angels uh, and ministering to her, but I believe it was the, the people she was plagiaring of as well. Well, not as well, full stop. The Seventh-day Adventists also believe that Michael, the Archangel, is Jesus, and Jesus is Michael, the Archangel. How stupid is that? The Seventh-day Adventists prophesied that Jesus was returning and coming back to Earth in 1843 and 1844. Never happened. Jesus never returned. So, Seventh-day Adventists believe and demand that you be a vegetarian. Jesus never demanded that. Actually, he said opposite to that. He, he opposed that in his writings. And he said that in the last days, there would be um, spurious doctrines. People say, uh, teaching that you have to abstain from meat and, and, and marrying and Roman Catholicism in, involved there too, included. Um, Seven Day Adventists teach tithes, tithing. Seven Day Adventists, they sell books saying that they are God inspired. This is all uh, crookery and, and, and dishonesty and endemic and ungodly. The Seventh Day Adventists do Christmas, but they do it in a different way to the Orthodox and denominational church, but they still do Christmas. But there's no Christmas, is there? Where's that thing in the Bible? It's not there. There's no command or teaching to, to remember and to promote Jesus' um, uh, birthday anywhere in the scriptures yearly, promote it yearly, or have some yearly celebration for his death 
burial and resurrection. They call it Easter. There's none of that there either. So, yeah, the Seven Day Adventists also, like the Roman Catholic Church, they have secret archives known as the ASTR. Um, recording all the, the wickedness within the church and everything else, but it's, it's secret and it's uh, hidden from the eyes of the world. Seven day advanced also have a hierarchy system like the Roman Catholic Church. And um, the Seven Day Adventists uh, couldn't possibly couldn't possibly be um, of the true church, let alone the true church, because uh, of of these teachings, I impossibility. So stay clear of the Seventh Day Adventists. They're, they're hell bent on the Sabbath. They're hell bent on this tithe. They're hell bent on on um, uh, a work salvation. Paradise Now Church Brisbane doesn't teach any of this garbage, and we don't teach work salvation either. We 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 teach that Jesus said, "They're my brother, sister, and mother. He hear my words and do them." As we read here in the writings of Second John, whoever sins, verse 9, and does not abide in the doctrine of Jesus Christ does not have God or the Father. He who abides in the doctrine of Christ has both Father and Son. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this doctrine, this teaching, don't even greet them. Don't receive them into your house and don't greet them. If they knock at seven day Adventist, knock at your door. Jehovah Witnesses knock at your door. Ask them, are you Jehovah Witness or seven day Adventist or Mormon? If they say yes, don't greet them. Don't have them anywhere near your house because they come to teach you a lie. They come to deceive you. It has to be the doctrine of Jesus. And Jesus said he's the author of eternal salvation for all who obey him. Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Luke 6, 46, when you don't do what I say? Jesus said, very clearly, anyone's to name the name of Jesus, they must depart from sin. So, the tithing teaching itself, let alone the Sabbath, can you show me where Jesus or the apostles taught Sabbath? Keep Sabbath keeping or tithing? Can you show me there? Can you show me where Jesus taught you have to be a vegetarian to be saved? Can you show me where Jesus taught any of this rubbish uh, that the Seventh day Adventist Church? No, you can't. God bless you. Watch this space. Stay in tune and um, keep your eye on the Lamb, the Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen.